My name is Charles Dixon, D-I-C-K-S-O-N, <laughs> and uh, I've been I've been sculpting for um, 40 plus years. My my media's are wood, uh, plastic, concrete. I'm a mold maker. Uh, of recent, I've become a, a, a serious welder. You came to be the individual chosen to put mm -hmm. your work in front of the California African American Museum. Okay, well, uh, the piece talks about, uh, the piece is entitled, Wishing on a Star. There you go. Okay, and it starts from a, a human, the hu if you, on one side of it, it's the human, human body, and this body is emerging are transforming into an astronaut. This astronaut is 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 flinging in space this like funnel satellite. And around this funnel satellite, there are other little examples of like there'll be examples of like say the the space station that is being the uh, international space station is kind of floating around there. There'll be the Hubble will be floating on there, and there's like the Chandler uh, uh, satellite. They also have the camera. It'll be hovering up there, and beyond that, there's this uh, there's the universe, and the whole thing about the funnel is 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 getting this information from from the universe that we use for everything in, in our everyday life. This is my funnel. Right, I'm a similar, so I like to pick up things. I like to, I use every technique I can use to have a conversation. Yes, sir. And so, you know, if, if, if I have to carve an image from wood or plastic or make a mold, I'll do that, you know, to make the statement. In this case, I knew how to bend and form rebar and then weld it together and like not just weld it on top of each other but like lace it together so now it's structurally strong it's one continuous form and then uh, thank you what it's, it's basic what it's made out of is uh, rebar rebar is one of these uh, green metals uh -huh. it's in it's it's a recycled metal it's in everything that's that uh, construction is built all uh, high rises uh, made with rebar but basically, the piece is a piece called uh, "Wishing on a Star," and uh, it's a it's a it's a human evolving into an astronaut, and this astronaut is flinging into space a funnel uh, ship, so to speak, to kind of gather up all the information from the universe, and then the universe is is beyond that, and. It is, it's a wind device that will spin in the wind when it comes through the, uh, the tunnel area here. And then, and then also the piece will have uh, solar energy panels on it for the lighting system that will work off his helmet. And if you look inside the helmet itself, it has uh, shots from the Hubble. So how many hours of love did you put into creating this? Man. I'm not talking about getting the pieces. I know that took forever. But how many uh, hours of love did you take to make this, do you think, maybe? Easily 100 hours or so, maybe more. I mean, you know, I try to, I try to do a little dab uh, every day. Even, you know, it's like sometimes you're pounding something to get a shape or a form. Mm -hmm. And... You get burnt out. You spend four hours in just making a shape or a form, and then you're happy because you're tired and you're sweaty. <laughs> and the answer, and one more question, how did you get this opportunity to put you, your work here you know, of all the artists they deal with? Well, you know, actually, when this museum was built, I was here when this museum was built. I was teaching classes here. Really? I was one of the first cast to teach class here when it opened up. And I've been exhibiting here for ever since it's been open, oh. off and on. But in this particular case, I had a statement. And I was excited about my this media of welding. And I requested there was a, like an opening space for uh, participants. Ah. And, and, I, and I requested uh, a space. Fantastic. Because I've spent 35 years of just research and development to, to, to be able to speak in all media. 
uh, sculpture, and now I do photography. So the, the, and I've even invented some processes. See something like this, and somebody is complete. I'm always like, well, how did they even start? Uh, <laughs> so tell us, what is the first thing one does when he's you know this something? guy actually is. <laughs> This, this particular part was inspired by a piece of metal that I had 15 years ago that's, that you not, don't even see here. Mm -hmm. But some of the material that I did have, I had on, in stock, and it had rust on it. Some of it I, I brushed off. Some of I like the rust. I, li I was going to say, I like the rust. You know, and <laughs> but what's going to happen here is that... Uh, I think iron turns green. And well, uh, bronze turns green. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> and rust turns black. Brown, yeah, it just does its thing, you know. And I like the way that looks. I mean, like you see the little bluish color, yeah, that is actually bed framing material that I've collected for years, right? And so, finally, and you see the little cuts that's how I shaped it, what have you. So, that material, uh, big reinforced stuff. Oh, yeah, I see what he's doing. Yeah. It's, it's not on, it's not on top of each other, everything is linked and You're woven right. together. So I each even line, like how so, muscles really are. So huh? when you look at it, when you look at it, it's an unbroken line. The yeah. line flows into another line, to another line. So the phenomenon with this piece is that you can't stop staring at it because the line is continuous. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. you know. What is this at the top here? This, this metal, you know, yeah. well, I mean, what, it, did you, what did it, what was it? <laughs> oh, 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 it was some uh, stainless steel pots that I, uh, pans that I've been having for like 20 years, man. And I cleaned them up, and I mean, you know, I wanted to do this here, here again. I mean, I wanted that. Sh I could pound it out, but why? You know, yeah, yeah. and it's stainless steel. So I just took. I have the other small pieces, like in the head. That was the biggest part. And I took my plasma cutter and cut patterns in it. I took uh, uh, my. Uh, I learned how to use my uh, use Photoshop and scanner, and, and I laminated some Hubble shots in there. And there's another group of Hubble shots that I also add to it. And I, 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 this gentleman right here, Khalif, actually uh, donated the lens that you see. Uh, so I'll be shooting at it. You can talk while I'm shooting. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you think about today. Uh, my name is Darlene Dixon. Um, I believe this is history because there's never been a sculpture out in front of the African American Museum. And for it to be contemporary sculpture is really, really great. And for Charles Dickson to have done it is even greater because he's a uh, native son. Here from, went to Fremont High School and taught here. Yeah, he told me he taught here when it was yes. first built. Yep, sure did. So this is like uh, full circle stuff here. The way to make something really strong is to is to support it like pillars and so what you see here each piece is supported by another piece by another piece so it's all woven together like structurally it's like one big tube that is hollow I mean that's hollow and it's, it's air, open air and it also has emergency light ah uh, cool then, uh, like a beacon too right, and then this is a this was the camera that was donated a piece and so uh, DJ Robinson, the gentleman that's a photographer here, and let me, let me set, the, set it off. See it? Yeah. So you can set the F stops on this. And then the bottom line is that, see that? What happened? Lights on. You mean yeah. I have to come here at night and film too? Right, right. Oh. And um, and so there's going to be more pieces too that that go inside of that. So every angle that you walk around and look at it, it it'll show you something new. And those are laminated transparencies. All right, we're gonna have Woody officially welcome you. I'm gonna get back into my world. I'm Woody Schofield. I'm with the museum. This is perfect timing. I ain't been here in months. When you, when you came over, I said, well, it just so happens we're bringing over this special piece. <laughs> Charles Dixon's piece, and part of an idea called Tomorrow What. We're proud to have it in front of the museum. And one last time, the name of this magnificent piece. The name of the piece is Wishing on a Star. Wishing on a Star. This is Blaze. I'm signing out. And all the best to CAM, California African American Museum, for stepping out like this and bringing the art outside where people can see it. And, and in this case, ponder the future, the 19th, 20th, and the 21st century. We want to thank you both very much. Thank you.